Hi, I'm Dr. Bear, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on plotting a block sphere in MATLAB. This will actually come in a couple of parts, so uh, here's the first part. I'm going to just clear all this uh, to get rid of the distracting text there. So first off, I'm going to start a new script. I'm going to call it plot block sphere, and I'll just comment that out for now, just to tell me the title. So first off, we'll use the sphere command to get a surface. And we're just going to plot it using the surf command. For a lot more information on this, type help sphere or doc sphere in MATLAB. Let's run this. Oh, let's call it plot block sphere. So if I run this, here it is. I'll dock that. Let's improve this a little bit. I'll type axis equal run it again and you'll see that makes it look more spherical. I also need to turn down the alpha so that this thing is uh, translucent and then we can actually plot vectors in it later. So it's become translucent. Another thing I want to do here is those lines are awfully distracting so let's get rid of them. I'll use shading interp because when you do that you have these polygon surfaces in MATLAB and then it, it takes the polygons away so run that Okay, so now it, it's softer. It's kind of hard to tell it's a sphere now. It could be just a colorful circle, but really it's a sphere. Let's add axes to this. So in 3D, we need to specify the x-coordinates, the y-coordinates, and the z-coordinates. So x will go negative 1 to 1, and y will go 0, 0, z, 0, 0. So I put in the red, green, blue triple for black, and so there's the x-axis. Let's add a y and a z-axis. So I just copy and paste. That'll get me a y-axis. And repeat. We'll get a z-axis. Run this. Okay. Axes are in there. That's nice. Let's put in some labels here. What With this block sphere, instead of putting in the z-axis labels, we'll label the upper part here, the, the north pole, we'll label that with the ket1. I'm sorry, that should be cat zero. So we use the text command, get it the x, y, z, and I'll set it off a little bit from its position. The text will be like that, and we'll say it needs to be interpreted by LaTeX. So if I run that, it's there, but it's a little bit small. Let's make it bigger, so I'll continue this command on the new line. And I'm also going to center it. Let's put in x and y labels. Yeah, let's mark it with the ket plus instead. That's better. That's more block vector-ish. There that is, okay. And then we can put in the ket minus. There it is. We can rotate this. Maybe we like a different angle on it better. Maybe something like that. So I want to know what, what's that position. So I'm going to click on this rotate 3D. And I, as I do that, I can see, okay, well, it looks to be about yeah, 60 azimuthal angle and uh, 15 elevation. So we can just put in here view. And when I run this again, let's close this figure, for example. Let's run it. And we got the view that we wanted. Oh, one last thing. Let's put in the, uh, the label for the one cat. Okay, so there it is. There is a block sphere. And the next tutorial, I will show you how to add block vectors to it. Thanks for watching. If you found it helpful, feel free to like the channel, share the video, and of course, have a great day.